What's up guys, it's Joe the Pro here, back at it again with another video. Before this video starts today guys, I need you to please drop a like on this video, subscribe, hit the post notification bell. Today I will be showing you how to build a AMF kit curtain. It's basically the same steps for an AMF 8230, 8270, 8290, and XLI. I'll start by going through the materials that you will need. The main component of your pit curtain is going to be the weldment and the backstop. Um, the backstops, they sell synthetic versions and wood versions. You're also going to need a weldment. Now, both of these items differentiate between whether you're putting it on an even lane or an odd lane. With an even lane, you're going to notice that the mount for the shock absorber will be on the right hand side and on the odd lane it will be on the left hand side. For the plank you're going to notice that the right side for an odd lane the right side of it is going to be the thinner side and the left side will be the wider side and the wider side for any pit curtain always goes where the shock absorber mounts to. You'll also need to make sure you have a good shock absorber with good bushings in it. Once you have a weldment, you are going to need a sponge. So it kind of looks like this, basically is what it sounds like, it's a sponge. Next up, you will obviously need your pit curtain. And the pit curtains are interchangeable between an even lane and an odd lane. You're going to need a rod to hang your pit curtain. Next, you will need your rubber. On top of that, you will need your liner. To put it all together, you're going to need 16 of the blue urethane rivets. This is what holds the pit curtain together. So once you guys make sure that you have all the items that I listed, you can start putting together your new pit curtain. But once you have your weldment and plank set up across, you can now put your first piece of your curtain together. So I'm gonna start by laying the sponge across the top. And as you'll notice, as I'm setting this across, there is a skinnier side and of course there's a wider side because it's wider on this side than it is on the non baltimore side. Make sure you put that on there the right way because then you'll have, if I put it this way, then obviously it'll be too big. So make sure you put that on there the correct way. And you'll know because then all these holes, you see the pre-drilled holes in the sponge and they'll all line up. Appro they'll all approximately line up. Now, I've also gone ahead and added my curtain on top. So you have the sponge and then the curtain. And once again, make sure you put it on the right way. You'll see on the side with the attachment for your shock absorber, you're going to have the whole, you're gonna have a larger pattern in your rivet holes. And the opposite side, you're going to have them more skinny together. And of course, they'll make sure they all line up because that's just how you double check. After you properly align and lay down your curtain, you're going to want to add your rubber. Again, make sure you have it on facing the right way and on the right side. With this piece, you're going to see a little countersunk hole so the rivet can fully sink in when you pull them through. After correctly laying down your rubber piece, you're going to want to put your liner over the top. This is the final piece you'll need before you start installing your rivets. And again, if you have it on there the right way, all these holes will line up. Now for the next step, what I personally like to do, I like to start from the front and take each rivet and just start it through each hole. That way you get the whole curtain lined up and then you can carefully flip it over after you do that and you can fully pull the rivets through. As you can see, I've gone ahead and just started all the rivets and the holes to line everything up. Now I'm going to go ahead and carefully flip this over and start trying to pull them through. And what I usually do ne next is because these rivets are still loose in there, um, you have to try to get it past the rubber. That's one of the harder parts. So what I like to do, I take a pair of vice grips and just pull them through so they pass the rubber piece. 
that doesn't mean they're going to go through the wood, but I just like to get it started through there. All right, guys, so I have gone through and pulled through all 16 of these rivets through the cushion board. AMF strongly suggests that you once again go through and double check each one of the 16 rivets to make sure that they are pulled through and seated all the way. You can ensure that they are seated by seeing the lip is above the cushion board. So you're going to want to go through and double check to make sure all of them are pulled through all the way. And then we will start mounting the shock absorber. Now, after double checking to make sure all your rivets are seated properly, you will now want to mount your shock absorber. So you are going to need specific hardware to mount the shock absorber. You're going to start by needing a specialized bolt. You can see how it's thicker on the inside and then has threads on the end. You're going to need a larger washer to go on the outside. You're going to need a smaller washer to go on the threads and then finally the nut. Before using, before mounting a shock absorber, you are going to want to make sure that the bushings and the sleeves are all intact. You do not want any wobbling. When you go to mount the shock absorber, you are going to want to put the side that has the shock absorber fluid. You're going to want to put that side on the weldment and this side you will mount to the machine. Lastly, um, the way I've done this, because I've, like I said, once again, I didn't have the right piece. You're supposed to have kind of like a big rubber piece here, but I've kind of made my own out of an old piece of carpet just to protect it temporarily. Um, basically, I just drilled four holes in it and I put a zip tie through. It seems to work pretty good when I have to do it. Um, it does the same purpose, it protects it. So, now that you have finished assembling your new curtain, you are all set to go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any follow-up questions, just let me know in the comments and I'd be happy to answer them. Please hit subscribe, drop some likes, hit the post notification bell. Uh, we are live every Sunday night. We do uh, regular bowling, split requests, you name it, we do it. So come join us on Sunday nights at approximately 5.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and we'll look forward to seeing you. If you guys have any video requests or any other uh, questions following this video, just let me know, like I said. And please like, subscribe, and peace, and do it like a pro. We'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.